New Tool Day Tuesday, where I share with you guys unique or useful tools that I myself use that I think you might be interested in. In order to do today's video, we really need to give a shout out to Restro Rob. He has a fantastic YouTube channel. He does a lot of restorations on tools, and he was talking about his vintage screwdriver collection a few weeks ago. At the very end of Restro Rob's video, he started showing a tool called the Pocket Socket, and albeit his is very cool because his are vintage, I did a little bit of digging around, and I found out there is a company, Clink Tools, that is making a Pocket Socket. Now, before before we go into too much details about Clink Tools Pocket Socket, they do make this in metric and SAE, by the way, there was another company, Malco, making one that was also very similar, and I thought it would be really cool to make a video and show you guys how these operate. As far as I can tell by the pictures from Rester Rub's channel, the Clink Tools seem to operate like the original Pocket Sockets. The Pocket Socket is, well, sockets, it's actually more of a nut driver than socket, but it has four different sockets in one. The manufacturer has tried to pick out what they feel is the most common size sockets to include in their four in one and the metric one has a seven millimeter eight millimeter ten millimeter and thirteen millimeter sockets built into it the sae version is essentially the same thing however it has a five sixteenths a three eighths a seven sixteenths and a quarter inch socket built into it the way they work is you can slide the inner core left and right and they have one size socket built into them you slide it the other direction they have a smaller socket built on that side but also as it's extended or pushed into the other side there's a bigger socket here and the same thing on this side, when you shove it to the other side, you have access to this socket here. So basically four sockets in one, and when it's all kind of compact like this, it fits in your pocket quite nicely. It does have a triangular design. I love triangular design screwdrivers because they feel really good in your hand, and the overall engineering of this product actually seems to be pretty good. The corresponding socket size is laser engraved on each end, and when they are extended, they do have a pretty firm detent, but if you press in hard enough, they will collapse on themselves. But that detent is pretty strong. I really don't think it would be a problem Problem. Typically, when you're loosening up nuts or backing them out, you're really not pressing in really hard like you would a regular bit driver, so I think that's okay. But doing a little digging through the Amazon store, I ran across this Malco driver, and it has a 7 16 a 5 16 a quarter inch, and a 3 8 socket built into it. But what really caught my attention was, well, it's Scout Crafter Red, but it has a locking mechanism built into the end, so it's not going to collapse on you if you were to use it as a driver of some sort. Now, essentially, it works in a very similar fashion. Other than having detents, it has a color that you have to really least to move the inside shaft. So once it locks in place, it really can't go anywhere unless you release this collar and then it goes back inside. And that same collar works when you push it all the way through to the other side. Once it's locked in place, well, it's not going to move on you. It has a little bit of slop in it, but I don't think that would be a problem for the purpose of this particular tool. But having this locking mechanism means you can take a regular quarter inch bit and use it. And when you're pressing in on that bit, it's not going to come loose. It's going to stay in place until you need to collapse it and put it back in your pocket. So there you have kind of a quick and dirty review of this style of tool. I just thought they was pretty neat and I hadn't seen anything like this before. They may actually make a great EDC if these are the sizes of nuts and bolts that you're used to working with. Overall construction from both companies seems to be extremely good. They're both very well made. You can feel that as you're holding them. Both have triangular grip handles, which I like a lot, and they both have a rubber coating on them. Now, I don't think this is the type of rubber coating that peels and flakes off. It feels pretty thick and solid, but that being said, if at any time I start to have a problem with the coating on these, I will put it in a pinned comment down below. I did purchase these from Amazon, and I will also put a link to these tools down below in case you're interested. If you like these types of videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. Take a look at some of my other videos. At the very least, you might be entertained.